I'm Maxine. And I'm James. And welcome back to Shelling Out. As you can see, the weather's not great, so we're going to take this inside. Sorry, guys, not this boat. This, this one. one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, guys, welcome to the inside. Um, you, um, as you can see, it's still got a lot of work to be done to it, but we have done a hell of a lot of work, uh, which we will upload some photos and videos which will show you uh, where we've got to, how we've got to this stage uh, that we're in at the moment. It is a massive improvement from where we were, so you'll see that in the videos and the footage. Um, today, we are going to be going uh, below the floor, so underneath the floor. Yeah, so basically, the floor on this boat was plywood throughout the whole boat. As it's been taken on water, all the plywood's done its scrap, it's rotten. Uh, the bearers, which are these things, which the plywood went on top of, as you can see, they're all rotten and no of no use anymore. So we've got to strip those off the steel, um, off the, the, the steel sections, um, and we've got to rip all the old plywood out uh, so we can get the ballast up, which is this stuff, um, which will allow us to then get all the water out and get it nice and dry ready for rust treatment and then to paint. Uh, if any of you guys know a good way of getting water out of tight spaces, let us know in the comments below because at the moment we've been using a shovel and it's still, still, it's still <laughs> And it's back breaking work. So yeah, if there's an easier and more efficient option then yeah, please help. <laughs> and um, like James just mentioned about ballast, um, this is the ballast, you have it different in different boats. Uh, some of them have big slabs like this, some have little house brick kind of bricks like what we have in our boat and um, the reason for that, that, the reason that boats have that is that um, you tend to find in boats that all of your uh, fixtures and fittings and uh, furniture tend to be more on the one side so by, by having the ballast in the boat it just stops the boat from um, leaning more to one side and it allows it to sit straighter in the water because the last thing you want is to be going along and your boat starts tilting to one side and you crash into the into the wall on the way into a lock which we have done a few times <laughs> not through to the ballast just uh just just uh, bad uh, bad steering well i think it was a win that day <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> but no what we'll do now um we'll as you can see it's kind of needs a tidy up in here so we're going to get this back end tidied up um and we're going to start filming uh the same process forwards on the boat so this front half uh, so then you can see what's going on here and what's going to go on here so this will be uh, like videos that it will be chopped in at spaces um, because we've got to get some work done uh, the time's cracking on today and uh, we, we've got to um, start pulling our finger out but uh, yeah keep watching and we'll catch you up in a minute thanks guys right so better get going Oh, 
what are we doing? Um, we're trying to get There's still loads of water in there. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's more in there. Boxes all that up into there. Yeah, it's just coming out, isn't it? Oh, oh it's going to leave. It's dry there, look. Yeah. Um, so I'll try and take this out. This is what is on the floor. Basically, just a rotted mess. Good job, the last time I left the bin on board, I guess. The plan is that we're going to get this back part cleaned out and then this ballast can go back there. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing now, just give us some space to work. Um, so that, that's what Max is currently digging out. While I'm playing with the camera. See how rotten this all is like in that fiberglass, but yeah, it's just nothing. That's meant to be plywood, like a week of it. I can't see what's wrong with it to be honest. <laughs> I think it's a little paint, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Done. <laughs> Ta-da!
So the thing is, when we're doing it like this and putting the ballast at the back of the boat, what you've got to be mindful of, because this boat's in water, there's exhaust ports and drainage holes and stuff at the back of the boat. So as we do it, as we take them up, one of us is going to go out and check our distance that we haven't dropped the, the boat right down too low, um, because that's that's definitely a, 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 a Titanic good, moment. A good way to sink your boat. So yeah, so we'll just keep an eye on that as we go along. Um, because I know by this point there's probably going to be people in the in the comment section starting to say, "Oh, <laughs> what are you doing?" <laughs> You're <gonna sink> it. <laughs> so yeah, we we are mindful of that as well. But um, yeah, that's all of it. Yeah, let's get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> just just want to have a break. You, yeah. <laughs> That's what you do. Whatever health oh. and safety ass, how you lift the foot. And <laughs> rest it on your non non safety boot non shoes. Steel toe tap. <laughs> That's it when you do it. Nothing bad will ever come from doing that. Professional work like this. It is. Teach these uh, health and safety guys a thing or two, don't you, James? Yep. And these are also two, are not we? <laughs> not when we've got someone as strong as you. There you go. Your tongue will stop it. Don't try this at home. Unless you've got a boat in your house. <laughs> yeah. Could have a, a home more. <laughs> Where's the uh, button? Uh, get on the back there. Where is it? Um, oh, no, that's all I saw. I've destroyed our YouTube for me. I've lost the button. I saw the button. I had the button. Ah, there it is. Oh. So now we've got more ballast to remove and move back. So exciting! <laughs> it's going to take a while. We'll leave it rolling so you can watch and <laughs> watch us work it. Bend from the knees, Maxine. <laughs> Uh, wrong one, yeah. Oh, 
geez. Trying to get all the crap off of So, I don't know if we can angle this down so you can see. Uh, don't put the on the floor there. Film. So you can film it. Um, if you can film that, then you can see. So you can see this in here. Can you see this one? Yeah. This one. You can see what these need changing. They're wrapping. <laughs> that should be fixed in, but as you can see, uh, if you can see any. Oh, there's something crawling out of that. There's a worm! There's a worm! A little worm. Oh, bless. Be free. He's gone. Probably a freaking leech or something. <laughs> Blood sucker. Yeah. I don't think they'll dry out to be honest soon. <laughs> I don't know why I'm piling them up like I'm going to keep them for some reason. I'm hoarding. But no, um, let's get through. I can't believe you it in my face. So moaning. <laughs> Brayden, don't want to come! You can't, you can't see it. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, you'd struggle. <laughs> you won't be able to lift these on your own. So yeah, this is like two sections as well. So we've got all these to move. I've got it! Okay. I'm an independent woman! <laughs> no, no, no. Sneak in here already, then. Yeah. You just look back from there. It's pretty much done. Part of the idea of putting all the ballast towards the back is I don't know if you can see on these, there's like little drainage holes right there um, that run all the way through. Uh, if you can see on that one. And what that will do by putting all the ballast towards the back of the boat, that should help any water run from the front of the boat right the way down so it's in a manageable pool right at the back that lets us start from the front getting all the rust treated and then working our way back and then if there is any water or anything that needs sorting out towards the back of the boat it's in a manageable manageable place but we can then flip everything back to the front so in theory it should work <laughs> in theory <laughs> we like theory don't we James yeah man <laughs> There is something green growing underneath the floor. I was about to say, I tell you what, this isn't too bad, the steel. 
But then I seen what this thing. on earth? Oh man, this was this where the toilet was. Oh, that stinks. Oh, I can't even explain how bad that smells. Oh god, that is green. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God, what is that? Are you alright? Have you dead all? In terms of anthony. We've discovered a new species. <laughs> this slab is going to be the cleanest thing in this boat. Right, so here's a, a bit of a, a nerdy time that I'm having. So, normally, boats, from what I've seen, the piping will run along above floor level. This is to stop condensation because when you've got a hot pipe um, meeting cold air or the other way around, you can have this area under the floors creating heat and then the cold water that's coming from the tank up the side of the boat that can be a lot colder, so you'll get condensation, especially with the older type of pipe, which is which is non-barrier, um, so it's not as firmly insulated. So with these pipes, yeah, I'm going to rip them out because they've stood here for ages and got God knows what harbouring in them. Um, but whoever's done this has actually had a good idea when they've done it. Apart from being not insulated, they've come up off every joint and made a connection above floor level. So. From what I've seen, um, from my experience doing plumbing and stuff, normally a pipe will blow on the fitting, not on the pipe, uh, because the fitting will be the weaker, the weaker joint out of it all. Um, it, with copper, it can be different, that can blow wherever it wants. Um, but generally, with these type of fittings, they'll blow on the fitting um, and not on the pipe. So, by doing that, they've eliminated a massive risk of, uh, of any leaks or, or blown joints under the floor which is quite a good idea. And if it was a bit more firmly insulated, it'll, it'll probably be the way they'll put them back in. Don't use that, don't use that, don't use that. Why? Because you'll eat the floor. Use this. Use a proper tool, Max, for removing pipes. A machete, <laughs> let me have a go. It's just like a saw. No, not that way, not that flipping egg, Rambo. <laughs> Oh, no, I thought it'd be more fun than that. Can I just try this? No, Max, you're just flattening it. Oh. Do you want me to pull it? It's okay, I've got fingers. <laughs> I've got some cutters, which would do this in about two seconds. In your own? Mm. The reason we're using such primitive tools is because I don't have no tools at the boat either. We like to make life harder for ourselves. It makes us appreciate the simple <laughs> things in life. <laughs> oh, there was still water in it. <laughs> you could have drank that. Oh. It would have been good, that would have. I was hold. I was you can undo them and reuse a fit and get really tight. Be careful that the one not squirt out. Oh, this fitting will go again, this will. Be able to reuse that. Imagine. Yeah, that, that one's right. Let me go. Oh, can you open this bag? Oh. You want a drink? No, I can't. James, seriously. <laughs> Is that, the... that nearly went in my mouth again. Why are you so dramatic? I don't want that. Mm. I don't know what stagnant, stale, bloody. Today. We've got them two oh, come slides. on then, crack on, you're just pondering. I am not pondering. You are. You're just trying it, mate. <laughs> no, I didn't try it. <laughs> 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 Marvellous. Oh, I'm 
So I was spending the baby that one. I'm stoking a fire. <laughs> that pee already already yours. Oh, yeah. Shut it up because I don't know. He had like teeth when he was like three months old. He was like that creepy baby. <laughs> like a full head of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> These are my first set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, you had two sets of teeth? I was born with mine. Yeah, because you can't really get no further today. You could have your part. Come on, come on, that's us done. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we could like literally just move this fridge, move this bin, and we'd get the salt. Why are we holding on to the old fridge? Why is Because you were going to band it and put it in the bin. We need to put it in the I said when we was at Dingy. So, we're going to call it a day for today because it's getting late and. We are. Uh, and I think too long in here, you start to feel a little bit sick. Yeah, it's starting to, to smell a bit, man. Yeah, I'm starting to get to the. Starting to unearth some. Some, <laughs> some horrible smells. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so far today, we'll carry on this video anyway, so you can see the rest of the progress. But this is the Saturday, and then we'll carry on and chop Sunday's filming tomorrow, and then tomorrow night we should have a video up. But yeah, we've. Pretty much moved some slabs from there to there, and some slabs from there to there, and a few bin bags, and we call that hard work. Uh, it was actually hard work, hmm. just because it's moving some slabs from there to there. It is like it is quite hard work, and it stinks. Like guys, honestly, there's no oxygen. The windows are open, and there's still no air. It's so stale and smelly. We've just got that fridge now to uh, go and fit on our boat. If anybody needs a fridge, <laughs> give us a call. Send us a message. <laughs> Free to a good home. <laughs> you, nobody would want that fridge. It comes with all the contents included. <laughs> yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, it's horrible, man. But yeah, so that that's it for today. And then we'll, tomorrow's will be included as well. I'm just going to show everyone the crap that for some reason we're holding on to. The bin is like it's never going to leave this place. I live here. This has been my home for 10 years. The fire extinguisher that's fell off the wall and we've done nothing with. <laughs> <laughs> the door that falls off this wall. Off this, what's it called? Hat, hat side, side hatch. The fridge. Oh, the fridge is the fridge of doom. If you have people over. Oh, we can always put the beers in this fridge to cool. Yeah, and look, we've got some nice, some nice things for snack. We've got mm. some crab pate. <laughs> Backs down, honestly. That stinks. It, 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 it smells bad. It's, oh. Oh. Why would you open it? It smells worse than your breath in the morning. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea to open That's horrible. People <laughs> see you for what you really are. No, that's the fridge that we're all on to for some reason. Some. Oh, flipping it. I can smell that fridge. <laughs> oh, let me get breath. The cooker. The holy cooker. There's a hole. It looks like the uh, one out of Home Alone. I yeah, it does anymore. <laughs> the furnace. Um, a fetch for cassette. A tap. So, yeah, we're just holding on to it. We're, we're hoarding, to be fair. Henry. It looks like he's had better days. Um, and then we've just got... That's the only thing that's mine is that speaker. And that wire pump might be good. Uh, and a plate of money. And an old mirror. And then we've got the jet wash, which is ours. And some old paintings, yeah. If anyone knows about paintings, are these any good? There's that one. And that one. I know nothing about paintings. I'm not a very artistic person. But I do think I'm going <laughs> to put this on our boat. The beauty. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm making creative videos. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. Why's it got a dog train on it? <laughs> Maybe it was a kinky Maybe chandelier. Maybe this is a fetish chandelier. <laughs> if you think this was a kinky chandelier, let us know. And that in the was comments. like those body candles were put in there, not normal candles. That was what it was. Kinky candle. 
if this if we could say things that wouldn't get took off youtube i have some ideas where this was clipped okay so we're gonna get going there anyway guys because i'm starting to feel sick and <laughs> we've done a fair bit well not yeah. really ish <coughs> we've messed about a lot 